One of the questions that I frequently receive about arc flash is do the doors offer any type of protection from an arc flash? And, and the short answer is no, but probably the more correct answer is we're really not sure. It's just hard to tell, it's unpredictable. And unless you have equipment that's designed for the doors to remain closed, like arc resistant switch gear and, and motor control centers, there's just no way to know for sure. So to be conservative, the way that we approach this is that you just assume that the doors are open. And I have a couple of videos that I took in the lab last year that I wanted to show you to, to illustrate this. The first video is, it's a 400 amp bus plug and the door's open and we set this up, it's at 600 volts with 23,000 amps of short circuit current. And so let's see what happens first with the doors open. 600 volts, test 21. Three, two. One inside the room, under the door. That was quite an impressive event. I, I sure wouldn't want to be standing in front of it. But then we took the same bus plug, the same 400 amp bus plug, and this time we had the doors closed and basically repeated the test. And watch what happens in this case. Okay, let's go. 600 volts. Fire in there. And the door does not offer protection. Based on that last comment, I have a pretty keen perception of the obvious. How the doors don't offer protection, at least in that case. And that's the way that it is quite often. So we really just don't have any way to know for sure whether or not the doors will offer protection or not. So the safe way to go, and this is the interpretation that's used in the industry, is you just base this on the doors being open. They're not going to offer any kind of protection. 23,000 amps, that's a pretty respectable amount of short circuit current, and that was enough to blow the doors open.